Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dear Young Wife with myself, Chef Danny Leary and the wonderful Tommy Odunsi Fadina. Christmas is just around the corner and I'm so excited. I'm a, I hope I'm going to get a present from you and your husband. I'll definitely give you what, what am I going to get? What, what are you guys going to buy for me? What are, the things, what are the things you're going to buy for me? The things you're going to buy for me? <laughs> Just we'll go and do black market. Get me some spices. Black Friday, whatever. Black Friday. Uh, I think Black Friday is gone black, already. Uh, yeah, it's this from Black Friday, you know, like tomato ketchup, all of those things. And then you're gonna come to my house and tell me to all cook those, for you. All those mede mede. Okay. You bring it now. Okay. And then you and then you definitely do what you know how to do best now. Fantastic, no problem. <laughs> um, thank you so much for our new subscribers on the YouTube channel and to our dear new followers on um, the Instagram page, Dear Young Wife. If you haven't subscribed, if this is the first time watching our video, make sure you subscribe and catch up on all the videos we have out there on the YouTube platform and do like our pictures. Do take some pictures as well and tag us on Instagram. Today, as we lead up to Christmas, you know, it's a, it's quite a, it's quite a, um, a festive period, and you know, one of the things that we've been, we've been wanting to talk about so far. The topic is, um, you know, would you, will you get married to a partner that your family or your parents do not approve of? Oh, better still, are you in a marriage that your parents didn't approve of? Oh, oh, oh that's, a, that's a different, that's a new ball game. Wow. Okay. Well, so, yeah. So maybe, maybe you didn't listen to mom and dad and then you are in the marriage now and then... It's working oh, or it's not, it's not working. working. Okay, so when, while we talk about this, this is a bit, I have a bit of a, of a first-hand experience on this actually, where there was this be very beautiful young, young, young lady and she fell in love. I think she dated this guy for maybe about uh, four or five years, mm -hmm. fell in love with him. Um, she said he was an amazing guy and she wanted to get married to him. So she took him home to mom and dad, to her parents, sorry, her mom and dad, and Instantly, her father was like, no, you're not going to get married to this young man. He's not going to look after you. I don't want him to be a husband. I don't want him to be my son-in-law. I don't want him to be the father of my grandchildren. Like, literally, objection, objection, objection. And her mother, on the other hand, was just like, I'm not... There's something about this guy. I'm not too sure what it is. My spirit doesn't really agree with it. But you know mothers, mm -hmm. when they come and say, my spirit yeah, doesn't agree... The intuition. Sometimes you say, oh, mom, come on, you've come again, like, it's not that serious, mom, it's okay. But sometimes they actually write, you know. Sometimes they say to scare us because they're the ones that say that we're going to listen to them. So the mom said that and the father was like, no, no, no. So the, 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 the lady, the young bride-to-be said, oh, no, this guy, I love him, I want him to be my husband, I care about him, he cares about me, this, that, that, that. So when the parents saw how serious she was, the father then said, okay, let me ask around let me ask my friends let me ask people my my colleagues my circle if they know of this guy his family where he comes from his family name and things like that so they did the research his father did the research and found out that actually every person that has something to say about his family this guy's family there was no single positive thing at all it was all negative so he's like hold on not one person has said this guy is is a decent guy or this guy's family comes from a distant family. What's going on? The, the mother as well asked a few people, ah, do you know this person? Do you know that person? This, that, 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 that. And, you know, all that continued. So, you know, asking around and trying to understand why, what's going on? Nobody has said anything positive. So the parents then called the daughter again and said, listen, we've, we want you to marry who you love because you say you love this person. But we've asked everybody. We've asked our, my friends, your uncle, your auntie, whatever. And everyone that says something about this man is not a positive thing. So she's like, well, I really do appreciate that you guys care about me so much. Yes, I'm your daughter and I know you want me to marry someone that you would like as well. But I'm the one who's going to live with him for the rest of my life. So I should be um, entitled to make that decision myself. Mm -hmm. So the parents are like, nope, it's not possible. Even if you want to marry him, we're not going to pay for the wedding. We're not doing anything. Ah. So she then turns around and says, well, actually, it's a bit too late now. Why is it too late? She's pregnant. Her father doesn't believe in abortion. The mother doesn't believe in abortion. She doesn't believe in abortion. Nobody believes in abortion. She's pregnant. Coming from a society, that sort of family. The daughter can't... Your daughter can't be pregnant outside wedlock. It is... Hmm. It's a boo. 
So they had to go through this marriage quickly before the pregnancy starts showing. Engagement, um, introduction, engagement, white wedding, got married, she had the first child, had the second child, and today I can tell you that they're happily divorced. Not happily married, happily divorced because every single thing that the, her parents told her about this guy was correct. I think she managed to come out of the marriage after five years. So she had two kids for him. I think wow. there was two, a two year gap between the kids or whatever. So when they got divorced, the youngest child must have been what, about three. Hmm. Came out of this marriage, she came out with her life on a, th a thin thread. This woman went through domestic abuse. This guy used to beat her black and blue. She used to be in hospital for weeks. Broken wow. bone, black eyes, this, that. Like, it was ridiculous. It was psychologically... She was psychologically damaged. But, you know, she sat in the marriage. After the first child, it was happening. Before they got married, it happened. But she was of the, of the opinion that, oh, no, he didn't mean to. Um, forgive me. I'll forgive him. It was my fault. Blah, blah, blah. But all this stuff just went on. And... So there's situations like that when your parents are saying, I don't want you to get married to this person. Some situations are like, oh, is that who you want to marry? She's from a different tribe or he's from a different tribe or he's too tall or he's too short or those situations I can, I would proudly say to my parents, no, she's not too short. That's how I like her. It's okay. Eh, but if you, if she's short, and usually you're short, it means your children will be short. <laughs> you know, things like that. Yeah. Like that's still acceptable. I can still say, no, that's who I want to get married to. But in a situation where your parents are saying to you, like for a woman, for example, or as a man, my mom is saying to me, oh, don't get married to this woman because she, all, all, her, all her family members, they've all killed their husbands. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I'm like, um, I'm going to marry her. My mom is like, you're not going to marry a woman. Her mother killed her husband. Her auntie killed her husband. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's amazing. It's amazing what happens in this life. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I'm really focused on the fact that um, there's a married, um, newlywed couple out there that their parents have disapproved of their marriage. And they're still married. And they're still married. But uh, it's really shaky because you can't really, you can't really separate family from your marriage. Yeah, it, it kind of really affects it somehow. Yeah, it does. So now, how do they cope? You know, we know about the ones that you know definitely went bad for, but so the ones that are just really pretty much started starting. How? Maybe they're already suffering in silence. Oh, of course they are suffering in silence, and that's the worst. But, but then, how do you, how do how do um, well not all of them, but but then you're not you're still facing troubles even mm -hmm. if you're having it's good for you. In the sense that not having your parents you've known all these years contact you mm -hmm. because you, of a or acknowledge spouse. you, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a difficult it's heartbreaking. thing to go through. Yeah. But now that you're married and everything, how do you now break that chain? What do you do to 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 warm yourself into their hearts? I mean, my thing would be the reason. What was the reason why Papa didn't want me to marry you? You know, like I said, if those reasons are valid reasons to the parents or apparent reasons... But it's already happened, so... Okay, now it's happened, but... So, if, okay, say so for example, um, Ineka's dad told her not to marry Tunji because Tunji is Yoruba. Tunji is Yoruba. Ineka would... I mean, after years of marriage, maybe six months of marriage, she can go to her father and be like, Dad, listen... This guy is looking after me. This guy is okay. This guy is well. This guy has even learned. But the, the fact language. that he, she didn't listen, that's like. She would ask for forgiveness from him, and a father would forgive, should forgive. There might be people out there whose parents have not forgiven them because they married someone from a different tribe. Yes, we know those situations exist. Research shows it. We know it exists. But in a situation, for example, where Ineka's dad is saying, don't marry Tunji because Tunji's dad beats, used to beat his mom every day, hmm. and Tunji is going to be beating you every day. And you've been well, with well, how do you know that 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 it doesn't that that might not happen? Though. Yeah, exactly. But her her father's fear is uh, like father like son. Yeah, but you, you know, can't define. Well, it happens, but yeah. you can't really define someone from where so, he's from. 
but but we tend to judge yeah, people are, yeah, exactly yeah. so in a situation like that where Tunji and Nick have been together for two years and he has and her father's you know talking to her and Tunji has never ever touched hit her she should go to her father he does her. You know, he does always or abuse her. her he has never he has abused her respect yeah her. He's to her been. to the parents yeah i think if you're in situations like that um i think you should talk to the elderly ones in, in the family to see who is closer to, to make peace with yes, the father yeah to father and elder stuff and then you know always push for peace mm, for the most yeah, part yeah yeah um, you know, no matter you guys will get scolded or of course, yes, you have of a course. lot of backlash and the family meetings, which is fine. You guys have done something that your parents say you shouldn't, you shouldn't do, do. But you believe and in the Bible yourself, also and says, you, of course, you should respect your parents. And all yeah. that. But you find yourself in that in that situation at the moment. Mm. I think it's always preferable to make peace. Yeah, yeah. Even to make even peace. even if you even you know, it's it's it, it might not be able to um, it might it might not the relationship might not be the same. Like you used to, because it we might did have, might have taken a lot from both parties, yeah. but at least you made effort <clears throat> yeah. too. And then you can start from somewhere to rebuild the mm-hmm. relationship. Because yeah. I think, I think, a parents um um input input or contribution blessings. or blessings <laughs> is absolutely very important key mm-hmm. in, the, yeah. in the in the in the marriage. Yeah. And I think that we should strive to 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 get that. Yeah, I think we should strive. And just just in case we have anyone watching Hi. this strive yeah, yeah strive to what um to get that yeah. just in case we have anyone um watching this um episode today and you're currently in a, in an abusive marriage or an abusive relationship mm. and you feel that your parents or your parents might have warned you mm. and you didn't listen to them and you're currently suffering in silence please um set, reach out to us um send us an email. Mm. Because there's help out there yes, for there you. Is, there is. The the organizations that yes. work tirelessly, effortlessly yes. against domestic violence, ah, yes. and, and we'll um, definitely plug you in. We'll plug right you into one. the right channel. So you know, if if this message is for you out there, we're definitely glad you've watched it. And if you have any friends, you know, reach out to us as well, and we'll put you through to the right channels. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you have to be smart. You have to be wise. Um, yes, love is special. However, mm-hmm. you have to make sure that you're making the right decisions. Um, don't make excuses for mm-hmm. people. You know, people will be who they want to be, and you will be who you want to be as well. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's it, really. Yeah. Um, on this episode of Dear Young Wife, thank you so much for watching. You. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. It's a uh, at Dear Young Wife. Um, so Dear Young Wife, yeah. and our Instagram page is at Dear Young Wife. Yes. Um, send us an email. Send us a message. Um, Feel free. Dear and wife at gmail dot com. Dear um, Let us know. Um, drop your comments. Drop your topics below, and let's get the conversation going. Till the next episode of Dear Young Wife, which is leading up to our Christmas episode, and Yay, we can't I'm wait. Going. It's going to be all Christmassy. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, and catch you next week. Take care. Have a blessed week and a better weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.